What is going on, everybody? So, title of the video is essentially we owned these 1920s Bugatti T37A movie prop cars. And what I mean by we is my buddy Keenan and myself. I originally had mine first, and then Keenan ended up finding one in Wisconsin. We went out there, road trips back with it. He ended up with a Bugatti. I ended up with a pet chicken, believe it or not. We uh, entered this rally, and it was called the Breed of Speed Rally. It was around 700 miles, six or 700 miles. I forget how long it was. It was a long trip. It was a long trip in a modern car, an even longer trip in a 1920s Grand Prix car that has absolutely no comfort aesthetics except about three inches of foam padding under your butt. And you'll see in this video that we essentially experienced four different seasons in just a matter of hours. We went from sunshine, short sleeves, to fall with co you know mild coats on, to rain, to snow. And it was an incredible road trip. I still scratch my head how we survived this trip because A, the braking system on my Bugatti was very questionable and so were Keenan's. And to answer some of your questions on this, no, these are not real Bugattis. Uh, these were actually movie prop cars in the 60s and 70s because a real T37A is very rare and ridiculously expensive, upwards of a million dollars. And the amazing part is a buddy of mine actually owns an original T37A Grand Prix car and it's an absolute work of art. And I'll post a video of that because I've had a chance to drive that. But in reality, these cars weren't that much different from the real deal. And what I mean by that is from the outside aesthetics and being in the elements and just the raw driving feel. So it's incredible. And I do miss that car greatly. I unfortunately sold it because frankly, it was gonna kill me. I was daily driving this car everywhere. And like I said, the brakes were really questionable. I, I went through everything on it and they still, I just could never get them to dial in right. And we were doing these mountain passes at 13,000 feet with very questionable brakes. So it's gonna give you a really good video effect of how sketchy this was. But at the end of the day, it was an amazing road trip. We both survived. And I think my favorite part about this trip was the reaction of the public of us driving these vintage Grand Prix cars from the 20s on the streets and going through the mountains. So enjoy the video, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm gonna be releasing some more adventures involving these cars, motorcycles, and well, just everything else that's ridiculous in someone's garage. So thanks for watching.